Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the G.I. Joe Classifies movie, Snake Eyes. Yeah, I got this figure from a place called Dimensions Comics. I paid about 10 bucks for him. Not a bad price. I do say so myself. So I have a part of my tripod that fell out that's very important. And it keeps falling out. There we go. Now it's back in place. But before we look at Snake Eyes himself, we're going to look at the packaging. Got a nice product of Snake Eyes movie origins. Nice product shot of Snake Eyes. Classified series Snake Eyes. All the four some symbols from G.I. Joe. I don't understand these. But yeah. Symbols for Snake Eyes, I guess. The Arashi Kage clan insignia in the box and on the side. Another product shot at Snake Eyes and the Arashi Kage clan insignia. Dragon on the back, Snake Eyes. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Now let's look at Snake Eyes himself. And this is my second G.I. Joe classifies figure from the Snake Eyes movie. His arms are really tight at his hinges right here. I don't want to move them, I'm afraid of breaking them. Knees can bend, but I'm afraid of breaking them. I'm going to keep saying that because some of these limbs are really tight on my copy. And I'd rather not break the figure I got, unless he loosens up over the years. We'll see. But he's got his sword hilt on his back. You just pull the sword out, and you can give him, get him holding his sword of ninja-ness. And be like, take this, Storm Shadow. <laughs> but before we get down to comparisons, we're going to show off the accessories. We got the alternate head. This is his regular self without the mask. Got these little blade weapons. I'm going to see if I can get him to hold one of these. If not, then it's just going to go to another figure. Nope, he can't hold them. Didn't mean I didn't give it an A for effort. Now we just get him standing. But we can give these blades to another figure I own who doesn't have any weapons. So we're going to dig out the My Hero Academia stain, which I have no weapon for him. Because no weapons will fit him. But these weapons from Snake Eyes will fit Stain. But yeah, these daggers can totally fit Stain, so you can go slashy slash with some daggers at some heroes. And look at that. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And there's what another ninja slash assassin looks next to good old G.I. Joe classified Snake Eyes. And now we're going to do some Snake Eyes comparisons. Here's my three and three quarter inch original Snake Eyes. Because I have this figure. And of course the Stealth three and three quarter inch Snake Eyes. Because he's Snake Eyes. Never have too many Snake Eyes in one collection. The one I got is more cartoon accurate, which is cool. Why not? And of course, another G.I. Joe classifies we compare him with is Storm Shadow from the movie. Why not? There I say, why not? So here's Storm Shadow next to Snake Eyes. And of course, we got Scarlet as well for comparison. Because she's Scarlet. 
and she's got her trusty crossbow in hand. And there we go. There's half of my G.I. Joe collection here. But definitely Scarlet can, has our trouble standing up. There's only two more G.I. Joe, The Rise of Snake Eyes I want to track down. Baroness, Akito herself, and that's it. And one final three and three quarter inch comparison. Here is my original Storm Shadow next to Storm Shadow, the more cartoon accurate one from Snake Eyes Origin. Why not? There I say, why not? And are these G.I. Joe classifies worth picking up? Yes. I paid some good prices for these figures for half of what they were worth. I paid $10 for this and about $6 for this. And I don't regret picking these G.I. Joe classified movie figures up. I still need two more to complete my collection. But then when I'm done with those, we'll be moving on to G.I. Joe or Real American Hero ones. But for now, I got these to go in my collection. Sorry about that. That's just another timer. I'll turn that off in a second. But here is next week's next review for this week. We are doing Marvel Legends Thor. I also got this from Dimensions Comics with Snake Eyes for 10 bucks. So I paid about 20 bucks for two figures. So stay tuned when I review that figure. It's going to be a great figure to review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube.